Hi everyone and welcome, welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to be reading red and pink books for 24 hours. I thought this would be a great video for Valentine's Day and I believe this video is going up on Valentine's Day so just amazing timing. I was like looking at uh, like audiobooks I had and I was looking at I haven't really looked at my physical TBR but I was trying my best to like you know see if there's any and I am seeing loads now so I'm going to be changing what I had planned but I had a few planned and I just weren't happy with them but I've got a few options now that I'm looking. I'm not very really prepared for this I'm also last minute this is going up Wednesday it's currently Monday so I have like two days to read at least three books or however many within the 24 hours so i don't know i'm just going to try and do my best and we'll see how this goes i haven't been feeling my best recently and i am falling behind a little bit but i'm hoping to catch up very quickly so the one i have just started not long ago and i've been reading for about i don't know i did time i've left my phone but i've been reading for a little bit and i'm on page 43 of grimson river by devony perry i believe this is the fifth book in the eden series i did a whole vlog of me reading the first four but since then the fifth and sixth book have come out and i haven't read them yet so that is what obviously i am doing i'm like finishing the series off i have been wanting to for a while read two chapters so i read the first chapter that was in lila's point of view and then the second book that was what's his name vance's point of view and from what i've got at the moment lila works way too hard she overwork and so her i think it was her sister if i remember correctly has told her to like have a day off because she's worked a hundred days straight without taking a break so her sister's like go and do something else anywhere but being in this place you need to go and do something else take a break and so obviously that's what she goes to do but then something happens i'm trying to say without spoiling it and then vance you see his point of view in the chapter and he is looking for something and he's been looking for this thing for years and he just i think there's a there was like a shooting or like a attack or something that happened that made him want to look for this thing i'm not quite sure what this thing is called it has a name but I, I forgot it and so that is the story and it's all connect and basically something happens to lila and then vance starts you know it's all connected some way but i'm excited to continue reading so far i am liking it obviously i'm just not far enough into it to have much of an opinion on it yet but so far so good i know that it is very short as well so that's great but I have just seen some pink books on my physical TBR, so I'm going to go and choose some of them out and change it because the ones, the other two I chose, I just weren't happy with. It would have made things so much more complicated, but I can see a few that I want to pick up and that are perfect, I think. So I will show you the books in a minute. So I think the main problem I'm having currently is I don't really have red books or many of them. So I do have one and the uh, this is like my original planned one but the only complicated thing about it is it is so not meant to be and i feel like this would be perfect for this vlog but i have to read the first book first but obviously this is blue and i could cheat a little bit and say that it's got like red accents on it but i don't want to do that so i think i'm going to have to read this one before this one but i don't think i have the time to do that because i've left it so late but hopefully i do want to try and get to this one but we'll see about that and we'll see how it goes but if need be for a red one i do have this one and yes it also has yellow it's not fully red but it's more red than you know the, the rest of them so i don't know i feel like this would be the perfect one roomies by christina lauren so i don't know we'll see how it goes those are the only red ones i could really find that i have obviously that i haven't read yet but then for pink oh pink and red i found this one love in the time of serial killers i feel like this one could be perfect because obviously it's both colors i don't know maybe we'll see that's an option and then for pink book i actually forgot i had both of these i do have some more pink ones but they are either in like the middle of a series or whatever but these are standalones so we have the x book by rachel lynn solomon i did try and start this i think it was sometime last year and in a 24 hour readathon i think it was but the only problem is is i just wasn't in the mood so i I just stopped reading it uh, i also i think i did a time as well i just never picked it back up afterwards and i decided to just put it down for now because i really want to like this i've heard amazing things about it i just didn't want to read it while i wasn't in the mood so i thought this would be perfect for now because it's, it's pink and then the other one i've been looking at for a while now is by the book by jasmine 
I'm not sure how to say the last name, Gullery. And this is actually on my February TBR, so that would also be great because I'd be getting a book off my TBR because I haven't been doing so well with it so far. So I am very excited to read this one. I'm not too sure what it's about, but it's pink and that's all that matters in this current moment so those are a few of my options that i have currently i i don't know we'll see but depending on how long and how many books i could read within the 24 hours we'll see how it goes but these are the options except for obviously the blue one but i have to read that one before that one but i'm currently filming another video so i could add this one into there but it'd be a bit weird you'd see me reading the second one and then the first one but you don't stack so anyway those are the books and I'm going to worry about that later because currently I'm reading Grimson River. So I'm going to continue reading that because I am intrigued to find out what's happening because obviously there is a mystery plot to this as well, which I find has happened with this whole series, the Eden series. There's always like some type of mystery in it, which I do enjoy as well as the rest. So that's what I'm going to go and do now and I'll give you all an update when I have one. So it is a little while later now. I have one hour and 17 minutes on the timer and i've got to page 116 of grimson river i do feel like i'm reading this one a little bit slower but that i, I don't know what that is that might just be the motivation thing or just because really i'm not in the mood to read but I, I don't know what it is i'm in this like weird mood but vanessa sprints are helping me as usual they help me a lot let me just tell you i don't think i would get this done without them but i I'll definitely say with this book i am enjoying it but the only issue is i feel like things are moving too fast like i'm 116 pages in and like things are happening already like really quickly and when i like when things first started to happen i was like 83 pages in so that's that's the issue i'm finding like if you are into like insta love i would kind of say maybe this would be for you I don't mind it that I have to be in the mood. It depends what mood I'm in. I just feel like maybe I'm not in that mood. Insta love, maybe I don't want that <laughs> at the moment. But I'm not hating it. I'm just saying it happens too quickly. Obviously, they haven't said, like, Lo like, I love you or shown any love at the moment. So I suppose it isn't really insta love because they're just, you know, getting into, like, you know, liking each other and stuff. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. This vlog's gonna be a little bit messy, but I am like, okay, and there is no progress between like the mystery section of it yet, of like who they are trying to find, but I'm not expecting much of that yet. Obviously, that is also still happening. That's the whole point, but now like the romantic aspect is coming into it. Yeah, I do feel like it's still building a little bit slowly, but then also it's the romantic bits happening too fast. It's all over the place up here. But yeah, I am going to continue reading because like I am enjoying it so far. Normally these are really fast books for me, but I am reading a little bit slower, but I am going to try and hurry it up a little bit. Um, So yeah, that is what I'm going to go and do now. Okay, so it is the next day and it has been a while and I have done a lot of reading. I just haven't been updating because I have been feeling rough. You could probably hear it. I've got a cold and my throat hurts, but I'm trying to push through it. So I am five hours in to the challenge so far and last night i actually did fish crimson river by devony perry this book i rated four stars i actually did really enjoy it and i read it really quickly and it was definitely a very enjoyable read definitely not one of my favorites in the series but also not one of my least favorites either so i would recommend this i just loved the characters and the storyline i felt that was very like unique i was expecting that and the ending was quite shocking like to the mystery aspect of it but i would definitely recommend it and then this morning i started to buy the book and this book um i i'm not enjoying like I, i'm not hating it either it's like it's okay it's looking like a two star read for me at the moment i would read the back to you but i throat hurts so much but i'm going to try and do this and if you could pause and read it and then that'd be great <laughs> normally i would read it but i can't read all that um and i'm trying to hurry it because just the way i sound is awful so i don't really have many opinions on this book i just feel like it isn't my favorite and this is like my first book from this author i believe and it's not giving me much hope because i do have another one called drunk on love but i'm not going to like rule out this author i always give authors a chance i don't just go by like the first book it isn't awful this is also a beauty and the beast re retelling i 
I'm liking the writing style. I just think it's like the characters I'm not really feeling a connection to and like the storyline just isn't for me. It's not the writing style, which makes me think it's not the author of themselves. It just might not be my thing personally, but the cover isn't my either. So yeah, that is the update that I have. I am slacking on this video a little bit because I just, I'm very ill. And this video needs to be out tomorrow and I still got to finish this book. I haven't got much left and I've got to read another one. So I'm going to try my best. I don't think I'm going to get to the 24 hours but even if I could just read and then that's fine but so far five hours that is pretty much like the first book took me I want to say like three hours I think I remember like three hours 46 minutes and this one hasn't took me long at all so yeah anyway I am going to go and continue this possibly finish it and I'll be back so I did end up finishing by the book last night and I did decide to rate it two stars for the pure fact of like I was explaining yesterday, I just didn't really enjoy the plotline or the storyline. I didn't really feel kind of characters. I didn't really like the characters in a sense. I, I didn't feel like there was anything to them too much. So yeah, this one just wasn't for me. And the Beauty and the Beast retelling thing just, I don't know. It was I wasn't a fan and then I did start I did start Love in the Time of Serial Killers and so far I haven't really got far into it. I am only 90 pages in but I don't really have much of an opinion on it and when I'm 90 pages in I see that as not really a good thing. I am finding it very hard to like the characters in the sense of I don't know I just I feel like the plot line is boring as well. I don't know I'm not having a good time at the moment but I do have quite a bit left to go so hopefully it will get better. So I finished Love in the Time of Six and I just, I don't know what to rate it. I can't decide like two or three stars or anything in between it, that. But I would definitely, I'll write some notes. I would definitely say that this book had so much potential within it. I just feel like maybe the author, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like I felt like it was quite rushed and there was parts of it where I was quite bored and where the plot fell off a bit that's what i mean by there was so much potential like this could have been so good but i just feel like it wasn't done as good as it could have been i also was finding it very hard to find a romantic chemistry between the characters like i didn't feel that at all i just don't really think that they should have been together and then all the other characters i just didn't really feel like there was much to them or anything but otherwise everything else i liked it you know it, it was okay i don't really have much of an opinion about it but that is the end of this video i'm sorry that it's all over the place it's because it, it was rushed i literally only had two days to film this but i mean this is on the day that's supposed to be up so yeah i'm sorry but thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed and hope to see you in my next one bye <laughs>